Hello everybody and welcome to twitch.tv forward slash Jester Tim. I am your host Jester and this is Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. For those who are confused, hello, it's usually Murdo here with me. But Murdo's not here because um, he's busy being Murdo. So instead, you've got me playing Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Today was supposed to be uh, the qualifiers for the uh, team challenge for Stafford. Stafford's Geek Retreat. But apparently someone got dates wrong or something like that and it's been pushed back so... Instead, you're stuck with me just playing normal Pokemon trading card game online, which is fine because we've got a new deck to try out, which is uh, Bird Box, Arceus Bird Box. So you're probably going to see some incredible uh, gameplay, such as me uh, powering up the wrong Pokemon, uh, starting off with the wrong Pokemon, trying to use this particular card when I shouldn't be trying to use this particular card. It's going to be great. But, you know, the point is, we're learning to play it. Uh, I have this deck mostly constructed in real life as well. We're just waiting for a second one of these Galarian Moltres. Um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. We'll just jump on the versus ladder, see how we do. I'll do what I usually do, try and talk through what I'm doing, and then fail to do that very well, and then go, why am I an idiot? I can't remember how to do any of this. What's in my deck? I have no idea what's in my deck. Uh, hello, Alpha. How are you doing, my dude? I'm all good. Thank you very much for asking. Hey, have you seen the uh, Sao Paulo regional so far? Jolte on VMAX is like the number one seed right now, and I don't know how I feel about that. Happy, probably. All right, all right, all right. The mulligan straight away. Good start, good start. <laughs> I love it when I just, you know, don't get to play immediately. It always makes me nervous when someone's got a deck box, I don't reckon. Oh, this is this is good. This is fine. I haven't paid a whole lot of atten attention to the regionals after SLC. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, no, you stay there because you get stuff when I play from hand. I've got to remember stuff like that. V. Okie dokie Loki. So, let's do the usual. We're going to set up a Sobble ASAP. Um, honestly, what do we want to get rid of here? Because I don't know what this deck is going to contain. I probably shouldn't be just, like, eating out, um, fire. Uh, yeeting out my boys. But at the same time kind of need to just do something here uh but, 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 but we have no energy all of that we need to find a turbo relatively quickly but we already know this is a grass deck which is nice that is doubling up already huh energy is that why is it so hard to look at anything capture energy basic search that's fine flap he's got an attack called flap Oof, that makes me nervous <laughs> Please don't flap at me, bro. He's got, uh, Old Sobble? Imagine playing Old Sobble in the Year of Our Lord and Savior 2021. Uh, Revenge Blast, this attack does 40 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Ah, uh, this is when we looked at playing at one point, and I decided that was a bad idea. Let's get another Sobble on the board. I don't think it's going to matter too much which bird we power up. They're using Vs, so my logic is going to be... Um... Get a zap though, powered up, because that's going to be easier to get the energy we need. Because obviously, fighting instincts. This Pokemon's attack costs uh, one colorless energy less for each of your opponent's Pokemon play in, in, uh, Pokemon V in play. So that'll help us. We, we like that. So let's get Arceus powered up as well, and then we'll get going from there. Uh, yeah, looks like Leafy on VMAX slash Shaman. Yeah, it's one I looked at, but I didn't have the Shaman cards. During your turn, you may heal 120 damage from each of your benched grass Pokemon. 120 on Revenge Blast. That sucks. Although we can survive three of those, so I'm not too worried. Although I'm more worried about the fact that we have nothing right now. Like, literally nothing. <laughs> this isn't a good start. Shaman isn't real. What? Shaman's right there, buddy. Are you drunk high? This is such a bad start, it's depressing. A bad deck, though, only needs one Shaman slash V-Star. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. We're going to have to go, like, heavy aggressive here. We need to get st get Starbirth, like, now. So... Are you telling me there's no evolution in sense? There is. I scrolled straight past it. Incredibly powerful gameplay right here, boys. It's almost a bit of a waste. But we need it. Not happy about having to do it this way, if I'm honest. Uh, so we want the double col the, the, the double colorless. 
And honestly, I might get the professor's research just for more draw. That's the way we're going to do that. Why did you... Why didn't you get a research with Drizzle instead? I did it this way? Wait, what happened? My... Why? Did I just click the wrong bloody thing? Ah, uh, why my why why brain why brain terrible? Why brain just terrible? Classic just entertainment misplay, boys and girls. Hope you're enjoying this. It's okay. We can recover from here. It's fine. It's fine. We we'll, we'll get we'll get this. <laughs> it's fine. Trust me, right? I'm a dentist. We got this. I am a dentist. Trust me, I'm a dentist. If I just him and misplay TM. Exactly, exactly. What would it be? What kind of stream would it be if I wasn't already misplaying? You expect better. You expect this from me, right? You don't expect better from me. But can I just get a real, like, uh, check on that? How the hell did I not pull that professor's research? What did I do? <laughs> what did I click? <laughs> what made my brain go, yeah, I don't need that. Did I, just, did, I just click the, did I just click wrong? What happened? Was my click drunk? Brain machine broke. I feel like I didn't click the wrong thing, but apparently I did. It's okay. I mean, you know, we're about to bring it up to evens. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to professor's research this time, guys. <laughs> oh, just, just incredible gameplay, honestly. I honestly don't understand how I didn't pick up the professor's research, though. Like, what did I click? What didn't I click? Whose man is this? All right, now we're in. Now, now we're in what I would call a position. So, um, level ball would get us another drizzle, but we can't evolve that one yet, so not much point. Training court down would just help us with damage, but I'd be surprised if they don't have another Galar mine. We have energy. Do we need it? Not right this second. Um, what are you we to? Yeah, you could be fighting, isn't it? Dark. Let's get training court down just to help with our damage situation. Get this one. Pulling out Moltres is a potential soon. Yes. Uh, that should be yeah, it's not bad, isn't it? You'd love to see it. Give me that one. Give me that one. Okay. I'd be surprised they don't already have the an opportunity to get V Max. They've gone hard on Shaman V Star. Hard on Shaman V Star is uh, the title of my porn tape. Okay. Uh... So Leafy on V Max, unless they have, well, they will, should have Galar Mine. They'll be doing what? 80. 60, 120, 180 damage. Like, if we can just survive this turn and somehow they don't evolve this Leafeon, we've still got a knockout. We're going to lose Leafeon pretty quickly. But with Inteleon down here, we've got a way to pull him back. Yikers! Should have expected that, really. Okay, uh, pop you there for now. Good luck, Sable. <laughs> it's all up to you. <laughs> Multiple Shea V-Star is an odd choice, right? Um, okay, so the Moltres would be a good call here, I think. Problem is, we could do them having another star down, or another energy down, unless we can get a choice belt on him. Okay, let's see what we can get. We need the quick ball, first of all. Give me the quick. We can get Aguilarian Moltres from, from that. Let's discard an energy because we can pull it back. Get our Glory and Moltres. So, 50 more for each prize card. Yeah, so that'd be 220 right now. What's a choice belt? I don't know that we have a choice belt. We'll, we'll at least get the damage down. Again, I'm probably going to make misplays here, but you know, bear with me. There's a bear with me? Um, actually, I could take any of their cards, couldn't I? We might lose this Glory Moltres just to B, but that's fine. Um, okay. 
Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Chat is full of doubt right now. Doubt, 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 doubt. Let's, let's try it. Why did I go for one? Uh, you know, just classic misplay. Classic misplay. Uh, both in hand. Yes, uh, yes. Doubt. <laughs> Please. Please believe, believe in me. I'm a powerful boy. We're basically providing Marnie bait right now, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, Escape rope, please. Be surprised they don't give me a drizzle. Yeah. I believe. Now I don't want to waste Moltres. So for giggles and shits, let's place Arceus there. An air balloon and Arceus for the free escape. Uh, Love Ball does nothing for us right now. Cool, we can call it that. Tis, tis. The problem is, I think this only runs one choice belt. It's a shame I didn't save it, because that Glory Moltres would have one shot the feast on that would have really helped us. Unfortunately, we are not smart people. And by we, I mean me. It's not y'all's fault. Y'all's would have been like, yo, just do this, Liam. Then you win. And I would have been like, oh yeah, cool. Okay. But it's okay. We have, um... Oh boy. We have, um, thingy. No, that's okay. Now they've got me now. I'm dead. <laughs> Man. Okay. I know where I went wrong. Probably. We learn. We continue. Yeah, with hindsight, I probably should have bossed and uh, traded that way, but here we are. This is how we learn. Good deck. I don't know if, if I'd run it personally, but I'm terrible, so. I keep thinking anytime like I have my old decks like Leafeon or Jolteon, I'm like, how can I get Arceus into this? Hey, Callum, how's it going, my dude? Hope you're well. Welcome to uh, Classic Jest Entertainment Misplays 2022 edition. Danny Loop is... Oh, I'm going first, am I? Thanks. Oh, not a good open. Okay, that's fine. I don't really want to start with Moltres, if I'm honest. They're starting with Sobble, so, you know, rounds and swingabouts. <laughs> Let's eat a level ball. We've got a drizzle in hand. Do we want to power a Sobble or do we want to power an Arceus? I think the correct one was Arceus there. I'm going to be absolutely honest. And do you know what? We can do both. It's an odd use of a level ball. But I'm nothing if not odd. And the level ball. Um, <laughs> if it does, yeah, that's fine. Okay. What do we reckon they're playing? Ice Rider? Arceus Ice Rider? Deck box and sleeves seem like uh, the clue for me, but you know, they could be misguiding. I mean, I've got a Pikachu on my box and you didn't see a single one of them, do you? Arceus V, there we go. So, Italian Arceus, probably. Imagine playing the choice belt on the Sobble. That would really make me look like a right idiot. So, in that case, we need to power up uh, Galarian Zapdos. I guess that. Probably Ice Rider or just Intellian Arceus. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. God. It's it's such a good turn one if it, like, works in your favor. <laughs> okay. Uh, drizzle down. I think we get the uh, the Roadrunner powered up. We do that with a quick ball. Not my favorite way to do this ever, but... The Pal Pad's probably, like, a worth a lot more to us. I've just given it credit for, but, you know. It's Christmas in New York, baby. Uh, oh, you, you know what? Sometimes you just got to believe in the heart of the cards. We'll go ahead and retreat that one for the Arceus. And we'll go ahead and uh, Trinity Charge. Want to fight? Take the water. We'll take the dark. 
Take the good, you take the bad, that you get the facts of life, facts of life, facts of life, facts of life. Okay. We've got a manual attach option, so it's okay. I think. I can't see them not playing another Arceus down. Or another V down. Watch them do that now, then Marnie me. So, what we could do with next turn is uh, getting a boss's orders through Drizzle. Arceus, your best card. Uh, in this deck, not really. The best cards should be the Galarian Moltres and the Galarian Zapdos. The idea is you power up whichever one you need to like attack the main two meta decks at the moment. But at the same time, Arceus itself is like such a good main attacker. Like, it's there mostly to, like, power up these Pokemon. But also, it is a heavy hitter too, which is nice. Okay, we can one-shot that, can't we? Yeah, 340. He hasn't played another V-Down. But we can get another energy onto this, uh... That, though, so we're okay. We need a boss's orders. Okay, we don't need a boss's orders, because apparently he's just going to do the job for me. <laughs> Go on. Uh, what does he have, like, three of the same card? That is completely normal, Callum. Um, it's called the Intellian Engine. Basically, you keep evolving it for the Shady Dealings ability, and the Shady Dealings ability lets you search for an item card. Um, whenever you evolve it from uh, Sobble to Drizzle, then Drizzle to Intellian, if that's the way you've got it set up. But having multiple copies of the same card is completely normal in a competitive deck. What is his plan here, do you reckon? Because he can't get more energy onto that card. He's just he's just offered it offered it up to me. I just ride a Calrex. Fucking called it. <laughs> Go on, play it down. Thank you. <laughs> that works for me, dude. That works for me. Uh, is this Arceus better than yours? I mean, currently, yes. And damn right it's better than mine. But I'm I can one shot it with this card right now. As it stands. Don't find anything, then we've got him. Problem is that Ice Rider worries me. Not you, get out of the way, Drizzle. He's got all his sobbles on board as well. I'm not running Jolty on this one. Okay. My man is in a pit, he's holding a shovel, and he's digging. He's not sure what direction he's digging in, but he's digging. Like, I don't know if I'm dumb, but I don't think there's anything that can, like, save him from the Zapdos that is about to kick him in the face. I've been wrong before. It's the ability. Okay, okay. So, we need... Two lots of energy on this card for it to do what it needs to do now. There's two ways we can do this. We can have a training court it. I think we can retreat it with cost. Yeah, we can absolutely do it that way. Okay. So we're going to find the training court. Bang around. We haven't got anything there, so that's fine. Uh, we can retreat, I believe. Yep, not a problem. And then we can do the exact amount of damage we need to do on that guy. Uh, let's pop an NG on you. And then Thunderous Kick. I'll find a stadium that's less resources spent. Up here the thinking, my dude. Down there for putting your shoes on carefully. Don't fall over. Don't tie your laces together. End up tripping. My guy's he's, he's staggered now. He's like, oh shit. We'll throw in the drizzle. We're going to do classic Jestertainment stall strategy here. And you know what? you got to respect the stall strategy. It occasionally works. Occasionally. <laughs> but not very often. I don't want to just keep booting his drizzle either. I want this little bitch immediately. I need to start doing damage to him ASAP. We need to find a boss's orders. Fortunately, we have two evolution incenses, so that won't be... Finding the boss's orders won't be a difficult difficult task. 
It's just making sure we can do enough damage where he kills me. <laughs> he can do up to, what, 120? He can one-shot me with Max Lance. Right of the High King, I don't think. 30, 60, 90, 120, plus the 10. Yeah. So, if he's got more energy... Yeah, he can, yeah, he can one-shot me with that one ability. So, we need to have something else ready to uh, finish it off. Finish him! Hey, professional Pokemon card players in chat, would you boss his orders the uh, Carex now and just start going for it? Start swinging? I feel like taking him down to 170 is going to be more beneficial, or by 170 is going to be more beneficial for us. Because we can one-shot it with uh, RCS VMAX then. Like we, could, we could also do it with Moltres. Can you one-shot it? I don't... No, we're not one-shot capable. It's going to take two hits, regardless of what we use. I, mean, I probably would, but I'm not much of a pro player. Hey, listen, I'm happy to take any uh, advice from anyone. <laughs> I know someone I just found on the street. Yo, what card would you play here, sir? Um, actually, I don't think I would. I'm hoping we just get one swing in. Then we can, if we need to, we can stall with a drizzle. It is path, okay. We don't have another training court, which is... This kind of stalls up those a little bit. I could detach a double colorless, but then we're only doing 150 damage. Plus, it's finding the double colorless. I mean, we don't have it in hand, so. Training court's in here somewhere. The prize cards. They're down to 15 cards in their deck already. Oh, never mind. They've brought it to us. So, we need double colorless. Actually, Arceus, we can get Arceus V-Star going straight away here. Go on. Hit me! When they take the bait, chat. When they take the bait. Problem is that you need to take four prize cards. I guess you can afford to take a drizzle now and then focus down the Ice Rider, else you might run the risk of now using the boss, take three prizes, then having the issue of not finding the boss, take your last prize. Yeah, okay. I get you. I'm hearing what you're saying. All right, we can get the Arceus going, like, immediately. Never mind. <laughs> well, that was nice. That was, that was nice. Um, give me a Shady Dealings. Give me the Shooter Dude. We can two-tap the Calyrex V, that's fine. We need to start chipping away at something else. Probably going to scoop the Intellion if it's going to scoop anything, so let's start chipping away at the Sobble. Um, Intellion down. Problem for me right now is I don't know what I would like. The Training Court would help, or would have helped, but we don't need that right now. Definitely have the boss. Definitely take the right hand, right? Then we pop this. On. You. Then we pop you. Hang on. Double colorless. Double turbo. There we go. We're rolling. We're rolling. We haven't even used Star Birth yet. Who even needs to? Um, me. By the way, me. I need to use it. But we can't use it because of path. Uh, but blue, the one new, and then we'll keep the other two there. Moltres is ready to do some damage. We just need Arceus to survive the tanker hit, which I think he will. He can one shot me with a choice belt. It's whether he has the choice belt. He has the choice belt. We're a little bit screwed. I mean, the Moltres will revenge absolutely fine, but I don't really want to lose the Arceus V-Star if I can help it. So let me just tell you what happened there, right? I completely forgot that I couldn't use Starbirth. I got very lucky the right hand played the way it did then. My brain was on complete autopilot to save my ass. Shout out to uh, my brain and my ass. 
Da 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 da. Boss orders is uh, entirely unfishy. My man's thinking. Got his thinky face on. Uh oh, thinky. I don't think I've won this. There's the scoop. But it would be nice. He's definitely got the search available. I'm pretty sure you can find the evolution in sense and involve the other. Dr There's the fucking choice belt. God damn it. Ah, I knew it was coming as well. I said it was coming. I knew it was coming. And I'm just going to sit here and take it in the face. That what? <laughs> he's, he's, he's got the one shot. Man, Ice Rider's an ass. Perfect lethal. <laughs> Upsetting. Thula 232, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciate it. Please raise your do do's in chat for Thula. Welcome along. Hope you're well. Uh, sure, we'll send you up. I should write a swing for 280. Yeah, right? That, uh, that would be classified as interesting, I believe. Legally speaking. He's panicking now. He's panicking. Uh, we'll keep Clara. That's how you can... Uh, Find things in freezy payments, etc. Damn, that's Klarna. <laughs> I mean, that puts me down to 190. I mean, they, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm actually screwed because I don't think I can do enough damage here. As long as they've got the ability to power that up, I'm done. Um, we can just sit and hope that they don't. But I think they're sitting and hoping isn't going to help us. We don't always get training caught back, have we? Do we use Clara in this deck rather than Ordinary Rod? And I'm starting to think... Uh, not Ordinary Rod. Um... Oh, sorry. <laughs> there was another card I saw that was like an interesting one that would work with this, but... Unfortunately, my brain is sinking. What's it sinking about? Uh, we'll go for that one. And we'll go for that one. Training core, baby! What a great day. There's no way the hasn't got this ready though. We can one shot this, but I don't I don't think we will. I think he's got my Moltres. He needs to find 190 damage. As long as he can evolve it, he's good. Okay, okay. Oh, we can't quite get... We've got bosses, though. We've got bosses' orders. As long as he's only Trinity charging, we're good. Come on. Come on. Just Trinity charge. Do it. Insert, uh, what's-his-name meme here? No, you son of a fucking bitch! Ah! You wouldn't do this to a guy with glasses. <laughs> what do we do here? We need one prize, don't we? Give me anything, baby! That's game, right? Oh, you love to see it. Good game. Holy shit. Okay, okay. I get one win. That means I like this deck. <laughs> We're on a 50% win streak right now, guys. Let's go. Did you see? Did, chat, I bet you right. If you looked hard enough on, that, on the camera, though, I bet you saw, like, cogs actually turning. He wins, right? Just use the escape rope. I was like, we have to boss his orders, but how do I get my card back to where I need it to be? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> the escape rope. It does both of us. All right, good. Okay. I understand why Clara's in this deck as well, because, like, presumably, you're probably going to lose 
one of your birds at some point, you're going to want to try and get it back with its energy as well. It makes sense. That is tough for me. We can scoop up net to save it if we can, like, pull something good. But that's... that's upsetting. Uh, hey, guess what? They're running in telly. Oh, it's a Jolteon V. Jolteon deck, boys. Ah. Alright, we know... We know how to do this. We know how to take out a Jolteon V deck. They've also had a shit start. <laughs> Never mind, there's their Jolteon V. Yeah, this is probably rip, right? But I I'm interested to see how I, how I get on. Like, I'm almost like, do I leave the bench as naked as possible? I don't think we survive that way. We do have the advantage of Galarian Zapdos one-shotting the Jolteon V and VMAX. So we need to get the Jolteon... Uh, sorry, the Galarian Zapdos powered up uh, ASAP. Or ASAN, uh, as soon as now. A man's thrown away boss's orders like they're, uh, you know, cheap ice cream. All right, all right, all right. We have not started off. Oh, but we'll sobble. And we'll say good game. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll, uh... I'm hoping no Marnie comes out because I'd like to be able to scoop up that Galarian Moltres. Just to keep my boy safe. I want to force him into using his item cards and his energy streets and shit like that. That's path. I, I know what this card runs, or this deck runs. It doesn't mean I'm going to do any good against it, but at least I'm aware. So they don't have any sobble, no, drizzles, because surely you'd have used an elemental badge on Jolt of the electric energy. I've been wrong before. Oh, there's Marnie. Damn it. <laughs> I should have just scooped it up and left sobble out, really. That would have been the smart play, I think. Cheaper retreat cost as well if I'm desperate. Yikes! I mean, we can quick ball for uh, Narcius, but you can't do any. Jolty on Vmax can't hurt you from the. Okay, <laughs> we'll we'll just stay out of the way. No, Sobble! <laughs> oh, poor lamb. Okay, um, what is the way we do this? Why? Where's Zapdos? We need to get Zapdos up ASAP. So we can quick ball away the Ultra Ball for an Arceus V. We're going to be like a turn behind on where we want to be. We just got to hope it's going to be enough. We need to have Zapdos on the active spot after they have their Jolteon on the active spot. Like I said, we're, we're one-shotting with Jolteon. Uh, with Zapdos. There's a retreat. Not took a knockout though. This is really gonna stall our uh, item search. Okay. Um. Throw this down. Arceus V. We're gonna need something fucking beautiful here. Vessel's research for definite this time and double turbo. Double Turbo on the Arceus. I'm afraid we're going to have to get rid of the Pal Pad. Escape Rope slows them down a little bit here. Which I'm a big fan of. Double down. Let's see if we can get a Sobble surviving. Bring that energy back. Then Arceus down. Scarpe Rope. This up. He can't do anything, but that's fine. We've got energy in hand for next turn. Oh, we've already done what we need to, realistically, with um, training court. We'll probably end up having to like properly power up this Zapdos. But we can do that with Trinity Nova next turn. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we're not going to be... I think, at best, we're going to tie up three to three prize cards in a sec. We'll see. They haven't got another Jolteon ready yet. Yeah, I'll be surprised if they don't. What you looking for, buddy? I won't lie, Tuesday I played Jolteon, and um, I had the fortunate of uh, getting Sobble down three times. So when I evolved one Drizzle, I got a level ball and got another Drizzle. And then with that Drizzle, I got another level ball to get another Drizzle. I just felt like I had a very intimidating... Uh, oh, you fucker. Intimidating uh, deck going on. Just like three Drizzles all evolve into Intellions. And Fan of Waves is really bad here. What? Joker! I, I miss what even got played there. Or did he just straight up retreat it? Yeah, yeah I don't think I'm winning this. By any stretch of the imagination. But I'm also not going to give him the satisfaction of concealing. Because that's just not who I am this week. Uh, Drizzle. You've got no way of finding me what I need, have you? Can't whip out a double colorless using hard. And however, use right hand. We can't use right hand. We have right hand ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Why am I so bad at video games? I'm j I'm just I'm I'm tilted. Absolutely tilted already. Badly. There's even a lot more like electric manual attachment. That's fine. That's fine. Ish. I mean, he's gonna get knocked out next turn, so. Whoop de doo, Basil. Didn't Moltres get knocked out last turn, though? Or am I going mad? Or did I already use a. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop complaining now. I don't even know what I want to look for. Like, I just did this like out of complete habit. What, oh, Marnie? Um, I'm just, I'm just brain empty. No thoughts. Not even purrs. Your unadulterated anger at this stage. We've already got an Evo incense. Why did I pull out another one? God damn. Absolutely. Bonerific. Um, kind of want the training court, but we can search for it again, can't we? Where am I? Who's... Um, that Arceus is dead. To us. Let's get this one powered up and ready. Send out Marnie. Mm, didn't really help. <laughs> we could have, like... But we still could just keep Arceus in the game. Using Cape of Toughness. Would there be any point to doing that? I don't think so. Lauren Zapdos, I think, is worth putting a Cape of Toughness on. I think we let I think we let him die. Pull out the other Arceus, try and find ourselves um, a double colorless. Oh, I don't even know how to do any of this right now. My, I just, I got so scrambled by all of this. <laughs> just pure, itty gameplay. This is the problem, right? If if I have jolt, if I have zap those ready, I'm one shot in both of these. Not a problem. I, I just can't get him going. Like a fan of waves actually cost me so much. We'd have already had it powered up if not for that. One training court in there, so far. no energies in there yet. Why would you? Why? Right, of course, because you knock both of them out, can't you? One, one of them out. Why he questions as he says the answer. Okay, I mean this is basically GG, but I 
Sarge, really? Sarge? There's a double colorless that I should have waited for. Ah, oh, honestly, he's put me out of misery on this one. I've, I've played so badly. I'm going to blame uh, entertainment value on this one, chat. Oh, yeah, I'm just making chat laugh. That's why I'm uh, just a completely dick on this one. Again, caper toughness. We could have actually, like, got this that those just powered up. But at the same time, it would have got the Arceus knocked out anyway. Like, I'm starting to consider Cheren's care maybe in this deck at some point. I have no way to heal this. Can't heal you, don't want to. Because you're already... However the song goes. Um, probably should use a quick ball as well to uh, get a sobble out earlier. But Who's counting, right, chat? Do, do, do. Yeah, Arceus is dead regardless. There's, there's no way to save this. There's literally no way to save this. Unless... No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, don't shake your level ball at me. You can't do anything useful. But this is what we could have done, right? If things have worked out the way we needed them to. If I hadn't... Bollocks. If I hadn't, like, clicked the wrong thing, we've had had four energy on this card. Ready to go. Two turns ago, and then we'd have knocked out this Jolteon, took 100, knocked out the other Jolteon. But instead... They used Thingy, um, Fan of Waves, and Dicked Me. And honestly, I can't even be surprised by that. There was a win there, but I didn't find it because I'm terrible. But I saw it, you know? <laughs> I was like, ah, that's how I do it. And then I went, you know what? Screw it. I don't fancy winning today. Uh, sure, I'll go first. I'm not sure whether it's more beneficial to go first or second. I say first. Uh, second with this hand. <laughs> this hand, it should have gone second. Fucking A. That's the other fun thing about Pokemon Training Guard game online. You just get a showcase of like the worst possible setups constantly. Let's scoop up net and immediately die. That seems like the best way to go about this. Um, we can pull him back if we need to, or we can use uh, Keep Calling. We'll see uh, which way the cards fall. Two Claras in the open hand ain't great either. Don't need them. Oh god, what are you playing? So Mew, Mareep, Ecleon. It's one of those bullshit decks I rarely see that's probably going to kick my ass because I don't see the uh, setup coming. People are eating my boss's orders like they're nothing. What's going on? Like a discarded Condon wrapper. It's going to be a Rapid Strike deck if you're whipping out a Remoraid. Question is what... We're going to do a Malamar deck. Whatever it is, it's Electric Energy they're after because they've got two lots of uh, Mareep down already. I know this game. On the plus side, weak to Zapdos. Man, they are just ready to power something up, huh? Um, okay. Man, how do we how do we do this? Grizzle? I kinda want a Marnie, but at the same time, that won't help. Uh get rid of one of the Claras. Bring me my bring me my boy. No, my boy. Up. Uh, scoop up another Drizz. We want him back. Want him back for good. Bubble down. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Energy down. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Training court benefit. Benefit them. Okay, let's see uh, how quickly we die to a deck we don't recognize. Let's hope they have no way to search. Oh wait, there's a mysterious tale. Once you're returning, if this Pokemon's in the active spot, you'll be looking at the top six cards of your deck. Reveal an item card you find there, put it in your hand, shuffle the others back into your deck. <sighs> there's Fluffy. What are they powering up? 
I can't tell what the main attacker is here. Birdo, any insight? Okay. Um. Sure. I mean, I guess we just start doing our heavy swings. I, I'll be honest, I'm more baffled than anything else. I'm like, what is the deck? <laughs> Am I about to bully a child? Most likely. What I do most days. Um, my girlfriend says the same. Uh, but a, a double colorless. Uh, what else? What else would I want here? What else would one want here? What else would one want? Okay, this might be dumb. I'm taking a sobble. I probably could have gone with a tool or a Zapdos. I'm okay with this. I think. <laughs> well, uh, use Glowing Moltres a little bit. No clue, guess some gimmick Kecleon BS. Thanks, Murdo. Yeah, I... I don't recognize what's going on here. I can see spinning attack getting very powered up in a second. But I can also see myself one-shotting this Kecleon in a second. Scardle energy from this Pokemon, and this attack does 160 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon V or Pokemon GX. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. I, I want that. I want that out of the way. Now. I don't care if they're trying to distract me. I want that now. <laughs> I, I ain't fucking about. No. Uh, we don't need to do that. <laughs> There's no way in hell I was letting that Zapdos get powered up. <laughs> oh, that's an imagine top deck in something that gives you six draw. Jesus Christ. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> so, Murdo, out of interest, what would the potential bullshit be with um, Kecleon? I, I have no idea what it'd be used for. They got and just got a one. Okay. I, genu I genuinely don't understand the point of this deck. Am I wrong? No, it's the children. Um, I don't really, I really do much. Can I just sit here and encourage him to, like, quit? I'll just swing. But I feel like it's going to be like that Leonzard deck I took on where it was like, oh yeah, I'm just kicking his ass and then got to like two prize cards and he started swinging at me for like huge one shot and all the V-Stars. Is there an Ampharos involved? Is is, is this going to, is this artillery rising gonna, at some point? What's... Like, uh, it doesn't make any sense. It's more frustrating that I don't know what this deck is or what the point of it is. Like, it was a Turbo Mew. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. It's just a deck being a dick. But, okay, okay I, I mean, I've got this fully charged Moltres ready. Cool. I mean, okay, I'll take a conceived loss, I guess. I don't understand what the point of that was. Am I wrong? No. Sure. I mean, I don't want to insult the intelligence of the person, but I can't imagine that was like just a kid playing a deck, right? <laughs> 69 power points, by the way, guys. Um, okay, I mean, we'll, we'll crack on, I guess. This is the problem for me. I want to play decks that, like, are meta. Because that way, at least I'm kind of like, you know, getting some real world practice in. This does nothing for me. I'm going to try going second on a couple of turns as well, to see if that makes any difference. No, I'll go second. Thank you, sir. Or madam. Oh my god, Moltres again. We've got an escape rope, though, so that's better than a kick in the dick. 
Only a little bit though. Like you're gonna rank it. The kick index here and like Moltres is about here, so. I mean we're, we're absolutely desperate. I mean we've got quick balls so we can get a uh, Sobble going. I just don't know what this deck is. Obviously. Water and Psychic. Whatever it is. What archetype is Water and Psychic? What meta deck could that be? Surprise, somehow, Durant Mill deck. In the guise. Zorox Dark, so it's not Zorox. Rapid Strike. It's, it's Rapid Strike Malamar. Piss and shit. <laughs> oh, no. We don't like E. We're Intellion? I don't know anyone that runs Intellion. Do I? <laughs> or do I? Okay. Um. What, what, what do we reckon, Brain? I think we use the Quick Ball. Find ourselves Arceus. And because we already have a Drizzle, we use the Level Ball. Get a Sobble. I'm going to keep the Escape Rope in hand, I think. No energy in those first two hands is a bit upsetting. Uh, at worst, you know, drizzle into energy search. <clears throat> Just getting the attachment on RCSV at the moment. Uh, Alpha. I don't know, because I'm dumb. Is Intellion running with Inke or Malamar a common thing? Common thing? I know the guy I played on, not Tuesday, the Tuesday before, he was running running with, with uh, Cincino, I think it was. <clears throat> no, I, you know, I, I can't see why Intellion wouldn't work, but first time I'm seeing this combination. Two more Sobbles, I guess? Oh, Remoraid and Sobble, okay. I can't tell if either of us are off to a bad start. <laughs> um, we could do a scoop up to get rid of this. I think we just go for Arceus V Star ASAP. Get our double turbos. Uh, give me the dub tub. And... Marnie wouldn't be a bad shout here. I don't lose too much. Yeah. It benefits them a little bit, which is annoying, but... I'm not too upset about it. Uh, does air balloon make sense on anyone right now? You aren't going to do any damage to me in time. Escape rope. We'll get the Arceus up, then we'll Marnie. I'm just, I'm kind of tempted to put the air. I know Malamar can be one shot with like um, just Trinity Nova. I think if we pop the air balloon on just for safety, then we Marnie. Hope we get another Sobble. That's a Drizzle. That's not what I'm looking for. We have an energy in hand, so something. I don't want to give them training court just yet. Uh, you can't do anything but retreat. Um, cool, okay. We have to start swinging for the fences soon. I'm hoping they evolve into a Malamar. Don't have the option to get, the, get it up to here. And then we can put an energy on these Arceus. Boss's orders take out the Malamar like ASAP. That's my current plan anyway. Whether it works or not. Yeah, it's a completely different concept. Okay, we get to do literally that. Um, pop that on. Boss's orders. Bring me that Malamar. Uh, can't do much else right now. So let's Trinity Nova. 
That's the first Malamar taken care of. Not that there's going to be only one, but, you know, good that we have it out of the way already. Or at least one of them. They might be able to just, you know, bring it straight back around in a second with another one, but we'll see. We have another boss's order, so it's not like we can't just take out another Enkei quite quickly. Like, I don't know what... Well, I, again, I've not seen them run it with Intellion before. So I don't know if they'll have anything to um, pull out the Malamars back out of the discard pile. Rescue Carrier won't do it. But obviously a Clara would. Or... I don't think a Fishing Rod would. A rod, no, a Rod wouldn't, would it? Because I think that's basic Pokemon. Not evolution. I need a fact check on that if anyone's got a sec. Like, to me, I don't think this has got the draw you need for how Alamar works. You want to flood your hand with as much Rapid Strike as possible, whereas, for me, I might be wrong on this, but I think Intellion's, like, specific. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, I need this card, this card, this card at this moment. Or you're kind of just hoping for literally anything. Um, with Drizzle. What? Oh, I don't want to help you. Let's get rid of Arnie. Again, I could be wrong on how th how they're doing this, but but why not? We'll we'll use the training core. Um, I can literally one shot anything with Trinity Nova, can I? I was thinking like if they get an Italian going as well, but even then, maybe we need to worry. I don't think they got like a secret weapon hiding in the deck. <laughs> Just whip out like a V that I wasn't expecting. Here's my Urshifu. I don't know how you'd fit an Urshifu. Taking a card out and putting it in. Was that too obvious? <laughs> too literal. <laughs> uh, how would they fit it in? Okay, well, I'll take the concede victory then, I guess. Cool. Easy game. Bad. Cool. Okay, I'm going to do one more game. And then I'm going to switch it over to Binding of Isaac just for a little bit of variety. That too. I'm not saying, you know, I fully understand this deck already. But I feel like I've got a decent enough handle on it now. Where I'm like, cool, I can take this into Tuesday and see how we get on. But also part of me still like, how is Jolteon? <laughs> um, then I'll take a quick break in between games as well. I just want to quickly see if there's any results from the uh, regional yet. Because Jolteon VMAX is currently the uh, top seeded card for the Sao Paulo um, Regional. And of course, if, if Jolteon does well, that means I can do well with Jolteon. Because anyone can play Jolteon. Just check out that last guy. I kicked my ass. Mostly because I was an idiot. But also, yeah, a hard day to beat Jolteon. I said to... Um, the, I, I played against a guy who uh, usually plays Jolteon. Um... I said, I enjoy it, but, like, the problem is if you've got something that can, like, out-heal, or just heal enough um, to make sure they never get hit, then they're absolutely golden. This is such a good start for us, by the way. All we're going to do is find a double colorless energy, and we're good. Depends how many mulligans they take. Single Strike Urshfu. Uh, and on this deck, is going to be a pain in the ass, actually. That's going to be a huge pain in the ass, actually. With Umbreon. Okay, Umbreon isn't too much of a problem for me. It's the Urshifu I'm concerned about. <laughs> uh, okay. I've not played this deck before, so it's going to be interesting. played a very... I played a, a lesser version of not got the energy we need. We can't evolve you first turn. Uh, and quick ball for another Sobble, though. Sorry, Clara. Let's get another Sobble. We'll attach the energy anyway, because we can evolve it next turn, providing we don't lose that. Um, and we can also get a Drizzle out as well. We just gotta hope they don't Marnie. We like to Marnie. We like, we like Damani. We like Damani. We like, we like Damani. Uh... 
So they can do up to 160 damage. Doesn't the energy they run for? 20 more damage. Okay. So that's... Okay. <laughs> I was about to start doing maths, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to expose the fact that I can't do maths on the fly, so I'm just going to not do that. Wow, exact lethal. You love to see it. It's, it's my favorite. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite. All right, well, I get the feeling this is going to be GG pretty quickly. Um, Cool. Okay, evolution incense. Let's see if we can get something going. We need the energy, which I think we can find with Professor. So, I'm thinking we need to survive a hit. Two hundred damage, isn't it? We survive the hit or do we go for the hit? I think we go for the hit. I think we go full balls to the wall on this one. Whose balls? My balls. E exactly, which wall indeed. Why did I pull out the drizzle when I can't I can use it? <laughs> Is this streamer a fucking idiot? Yes, actually. So, let's use the energy search before we do anything else then. That way we don't leave it up to chance. There's nothing we love more than not leaving it up to chance. I uh, can't use that, so let's get Professor's research going. So we can, we've got lethal on this guy already. Also, we love the phrase lethal. Uh, cape of toughness. I don't think I want to throw that down on you. You know, I didn't realize I had a, do a, fi a fire energy in there. Uh, sorry, a dark energy, but I'm, I'm glad my Pokemon was like, uh, excuse me, don't forget you've got that in there. <laughs> Love Ball does nothing for us right now, so it's Thunderous Kick. Ah. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Oh, that's a good pull from the prizes. We need an Intellion going... If we can get Intellion started, we're good. I think Single Strike Raw will take this one out. But I think next turn round, we could get the RC. Ooh, can't actually. Ah, never mind. They use that. Um, so how much damage can you do in total? 270 or 3. Discard all energy. I think you'll get to the 100. <laughs> What'll suck is if he's got... um. He pulls out a boss's orders here, which, you know, likely. Right, he's using a weird thing. He's using tool. Who uses tools? This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your Pokemon. Well, he can't... He can't take me out in one hit, which is nice. In fact, he only did 70 damage. Uh, I feel like Marnie's going to help him as much as it could help me. I don't really want to do that. I know Marnie exists. Stop shaking it at me. I know what we'll look for. Me and Intellion? Do you like how confidently then I said, I know what I'm looking for, and then immediately I went silent because I don't know what I'm looking for. I mean, you know what? Give me both intelligence. Let's see if something comes to uh, inspiration here. So, 170, 340. If we get two hits in, you're done. We get 200 in from you. Yeah, so whatever combination we do, we can get you knocked out. It's the Hound Doom, I think, we target. Throw down the Intellion. I want to get the Stadium down just to slow him down a little bit. That's right, I said slow. Uh, we'll have the boss's orders in hand, just in case. More than anything. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, one. we can do 200 damage. Let's get the, let's get the Umbreon. That could have been a happy accident. I'm a big uh, Rob Boss fan.
If I somehow accidentally, like, made myself win here, then you can all call me the misplay king, quite frankly. Like, we can get one more hit in with Glorians at this. Actually, no, if he uses beatdown, which he probably will. But then he's got to discard all his energy. Then if Arceus gets hit... Okay, we're in a, we're in a, we're in a spot here. If we can get their Crobat, we're good. When you top deck the card you need. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that top deck couldn't have been any better because I'll be honest in my brain I didn't know if we had another boss's orders going genuinely didn't know very happy very happy that was good cool okay brilliant I, I feel like we got a good handle on this deck now uh streamer you've played it five times and lost twice listen right good handle <laughs> it's called a foundation to build on look it up guys look it up foundations learned about it in uh college I don't know, okay. Right, let's open this pack up and then we'll uh, take a quick break and we'll uh, go ahead and look at Thingy Majib, uh, Bunny of Isaac. Okay, what are you uh, WTFing out? What's going on? Yeah? Seven reception desks, yeah? Everyone. Everyone's going to the same reception desk. I've got one. And reception desk. Nobody's going to. I've tried. It won't spread out. They. But don't why. So have you got like separate actual desks, or do you do the thing that I told you, you should, where you get that whole border? Because that's the way that I stopped that from happening. Because I I kept noticing they weren't going to the ones that are in different buildings and stuff. Maybe people, like, went on a break or something. Maybe that screwed up. I don't know. Anyway, chat. Uh, I'm going to stop it at Binding of Isaac. Before I do, I'm going to go for a quick break. I'm going to run an ad. And while I do that, I'm going to quickly look at these regional results, see if there's anything happening. BRB. Yeah, 